Hello and a very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the Bahrain Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekends. Max dominated the weekends. And yeah, driver ratings divides opinion. I give a mark out of 10 for their weekends. And these usually do well. Right, let's jump into Red Bull. We've got a new feature this year, so hopefully it's going to work. So, here we go, jumping into Red Bull. I can edit this. Um, yeah, I would give Max 10 and Sergio Perez 10. So, Max 10, pole position, led every single lap. Perfect start to the season, dominates, and he's probably going to be the champion again. Sergio Perez, 10, qualified second, finished second, 1-2 for the team. A perfect start to the season for Red Bull. Next, we're going to jump into Mercedes. Um, ignore the ratings I've got so far. I haven't changed them very early in the morning. Right, George Russell, 5. P6 in quali, he beat Lewis. But in the race, he was quicker than Lewis in the first stint, wasn't allowed past. Mercedes have got huge work to do. George Russell only finished seventh. And Lewis Hamilton, I would also give five. Mercedes, very average. They've got serious work to do. Yeah, his body language is not good. And they've got it wrong again. Mercedes looked the fourth best team. Lewis finished P5. Next, we jump into the Red Comedy Show, Ferrari. So, jumping into Ferrari, we'll start with Charles. I will give Charles a 9. Yeah, P3 in quali was guaranteed a podium, and then Ferrari do what Ferrari do best, as Charles Leclerc retired. Um, yeah. But Charles did nothing wrong. He was doing a great weekend. So not really on him. And we jump into Carlos Sainz. I give him 8. Yeah. P4 in quali. P4 in the race. Uh, yeah, he was struggling on the tyres. Fernando Alonso got him. 4 for Carlos. Would have probably expected more. Well, it is. Well, it is. Jumping into the next team. We've got... The old Alpine frog legs. Uh, where are we? Alpine. So Ocon. Yeah, Ocon. <laughs> Ocon had an eventful race, to say the least. I'll give him five. P nine in quali, very solid. Hammond Gasly, and then honestly, he had more penalty, a better penalty record than England football team. Honestly, so many penalties out of position on the grid. Then he got a speeding penalty. Then people working on the car. Just a really bad weekend. Well, it was a really bad race for Ocon. And Gasly, I would give six. Now, his qualifying was dreadful. He started the race last, but he's got all the way back up to P9. And the virtual safety car really helped him to score points yeah Gasly did not have a good weekend but that virtual safety car has saved him and he scored points on debut for Alpine oh jumping into the next team oh McLaren 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 oh, what a dreadful weekend for this team Oscar Piastri retiring and Lando Norris having issues after issues bad weekend so we jump into Norris he outperformed the car in qualifying P11 McLaren a total joke and they've got huge work to do Piastri retired early on in the race just a poor weekend in general for McLaren next up we have Alfa Romeo Valtteri Bottas I would give 8 uh, yeah Scores points on a regular basis for Alfa Romeo. Always scores points. Very solid job with P8 and Guangyu Joe. I might as well type this in for the season five. 
He's always averages going you, Joe. Qualified 13th, finished 16th. The only highlight for him, he got fastest lap. Jumping into the Grove-based outfit, Williams. Now, we've got a surprise here. We've got 10 and... Let me get it, 10. Shorten that a bit. There we go, Alex Albon, 10. P15, got out of Q1, better than expected, and he scored a point for Williams. Brilliant by Alex Albon. And Logan Sargent, I give 10. For me, he was the best rookie this weekend. To finish 12th on his F1 debut is very impressive by Sargent. Um, into the green outfit, Aston Martin. So we're going Lance Stroll and Fernando. So who we got first? Alonso, 10. P5 in quality, very impressive. And then in the race, he was the star man. Moves on Lewis Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, absolutely outstanding. 41 years of age, still growing strong. A sensational weekend. Lance Stroll, 10. Driving injured uh, wrists like Weetabix, broken toe. And he's managed to qualify P8, finish 6. Very impressive. And now we've got a couple of weeks off, which will help Lance recover even better. Jumping into Haas F1, we've got... Um, who have I got first? Hulkenberg. 5 for Nico Hulkenberg. Very impressive uh, quality, but yeah, in the race, got a penalty for track limits. Yeah. Kevin Magnussen, we don't need to change, zero. Awful weekend, taken to school by Hulkenberg, really. Qualified 18th, finished 13th, really bad weekend for Magnussen. Last. Last but not least, Alpha Tari. We've got one foot one. And the freeze. Yeah, Yuki Sonoda. He had a good qualifying. I give Yuki five. Qualified 14th. Finished 11th. Just outside the points. Was hunting down Albon. And De Vries, Difficult qualifying. Got shafted in the race. Should have pitted under the virtual safety car. Hung out to dry. So, there we have it. Driver ratings for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Comment down below your thoughts on my ratings. We've got a few weeks and then we go to Saudi Arabia. I enjoyed the weekend. F1 was back. Wasn't the best race. But, yeah, I like doing driver ratings. Comment down below. Thanks for watching.